All right, it is Thanksgiving Day, and what I did was made a payment today of $826.80, uh, which is due on my Home Depot credit card. That was the fridge from last year that went down. Today, up here, you scheduled a payment of eight twenty six eighty on eleven twenty eight. So we have paid off the third credit card, which is the Home Depot card. This will go to zero here in a few days. It feels great. 11 credit cards started with 8, 11 credit cards down to 8 now. I don't know what our overall balance is left to pay on the debt. I don't want to look at it. I just want to keep going. Uh, so, yeah, really great feeling to know that um, we have another credit card that's going to be at a zero balance. The next credit card will be an American Express with $1,600 on it. My timeline, I, I was trying for January 1st. It looks like it's going to be January 15th. Uh, but that's okay. I'm excited to kind of get to that point. Um, things are really going to start rolling here. They are rolling, uh, but it's going to get a lot better uh, as we continue to go and pay down this debt. So really excited. Thanks for everybody's support. Uh, now I have something else to talk about, and that is about health. Yes, I wanted to talk about health because I'm finding that as I'm getting older, things are popping up um, health-related wise. And when you're young, um, at least when I was young, younger, you know, you never had never had any issues. Seemed like you were immortal. Um, but as you get older, um, health things start revealing themselves to you. So uh, earlier this year, I had shingles. That I never thought that I would have shingles. You know, I had the rash, had the burning sensation around my the um, the core of my my body, back, stomach, my torso area. So that lasted a while. Um, this latest incident is an ear infection that's been going on for 10 days. And I usually get an ear infection once a year, left ear. Um, so that is something that's kind of continuing to go on. And my blood pressure is higher than it normally used to be. You know, it used to be about, you know, perfect 120 over 80, you know, 115 over 75. Now it's a little higher for me, but the doctor said it's it's normal. It's just on the high end of normal. So 140 over 90, 145 over 90, somewhere right in that range is seems to be my new normal. Um, now that's every, now I've been sick a few times here, and that's where it's been. And so now I, I've gone to CVS because they have those blood pressure cuff machines that you can you know take your blood pressure, and it seems to be around that area even when I'm not sick. So I'm going to continue monitoring it, but I guess that's my new normal. Um, but I'm just feeling run down and tired. Um, and I don't know if my immune system is weakening. Now I've, I got, I just got some supplements online from, I got the magnesium. Someone told me to take magnesium and B12, try that. Maybe fish oil too, but right now I'm going to do the magnesium and B12 and see if that kind of helps. Um, you know, my sleep isn't good. You know, I work a lot. I work nights. Um, but even some days, if I'm able to get a good night's sleep or a full night's sleep, it's just not the most well-rested sleep. Um, I'm just never well-rested. And that was f even before kind of working all the time and being in debt and all the stress that has come with it. So I'm going to try to figure out what supplements. Um, I mean, I get enough exercise at the night job at the warehouse, so the exercise is good. But you know what? I do take a lot of caffeine. You know what? Uh, if I'm, I might have time when two, three cups a day, I got to cut that out. Um, so we're going to work on cutting that out. Um, also, salt, sodium. There was a time when I'd never put salt on anything. But now with dinners and everything else, I mean, I'm just loading up. If I'm making chicken, there's a lot of sodium salt on there, lemon pepper, that kind of stuff. I, mean, I see that I am putting salt, a lot, I'm using a lot of salt a lot more. And I'm also eating like ramen noodles it has high sodium, um, you know, just processed foods. I gotta, you know, my body is revealing. It's telling me something. It's telling me, you know, you have to put, you know, the, the intake has to be good. It has to be clean. If I'm going to put in bad things on, uh, you know, intaking bad things, it's going to, the result is going to be, you know, the result is going to be poor. And so that's what I think I'm experiencing now. I don't know if you guys have any, um, issues like that, or if you take any supplements, or if you want to recommend anything. But I'm starting with B12 and magnesium, and see where that goes. Let's try to try to stay on that for the next three months, and just see if there's any improvement. Might add fish oil.
but maybe there's something else that I'm not considering. But uh, and and just the diet. Um, you know, I eat a lot of chicken and rice and, and vegetables and stuff like that. But but I am loading it up with salt and also the caffeine. So I think if I take the supplements and reduce the sodium and caffeine, I think I might see a, a marked improvement. So I'm going to try that for the next three months and see what happens because I can't continue going on like this. I'm just I'm just worn worn down. I'm worn out, um, and I can do something about it. So I'm going to try that. I hope you are well. Today is Thanksgiving. Um, I need to go to see if the store is open because I'm supposed to get a free turkey. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you would consider subscribing, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for helping me. I really appreciate it.